Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we could push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Well, we know which one they chose. Maybe we could push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Well, we know which one they chose. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? Outgoing message. Happy birthday. Emily, how does it feel to be 28? I'm sorry I can't be with you, but I hope you live it up with your friends on the Nexus. Go wild! Did you get my gift? I built the kennel especially for him. I know he can't replace he can't replace Buster, but they say if you raise an add he from a pup, it'll bound to you for life. Give him a good name for me and talk me up so he knows I'm on your good side. I hope you have a birthday as amazing as you are. Next year, we'll celebrate together. You, me, and Lil Scrapper. I love you, Aster. Transfer request. Um, I received your request. I apologize, but a transfer isn't possible at this time. I understand your sister was on the Turian arc and that you like to be out there looking for her. But with no contact on Net Nateus. Natanus? Since our departure from the Milky Way, your efforts will would be wasted. The initiative needs you here on EOS, researching methods to sustain viability. Your work is important for us all. You'll have to be patient and wait for word of the Tannis to, to surface. Uh, just checking in. Hey, kiddo, hope everything's going okay down there. Rumors are spreading about unfriendly locals, but I know it's nothing you can't handle. Just wanted to just wanted you to know the thing we talked about last week is happening. Sloan gave the sign tonight. Sloan Kelly is what they're talking about. We're doing it tomorrow. If all goes as planned, I'm bringing you back here to celebrate. If not, well, it's been fun. No regrets, right? Stay safe out there. Talk to you soon. Bolt. I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Well. We know which one they chose. Yeah, we do. Do do. So these other things are. That's something else. There. Murderer. Oh, that the body's right there. I didn't know that. Well, we can check the body, and then, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff there. Secret project. Alright, um... Give me just a moment here. Uh, Moffin says, I feel like the camera is a little more zoomed out in this game than previous ones. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely more zoomed out. EP break? No. Although I probably could. Uh, 
Well, let's go ahead and make our way this Radiation way. Levels increasing. We didn't check that building over there, huh? Let's go check that real quick before we bounce. Radiation levels normal. Apparently, I already got that. Oh, we already checked in here. Okay. I wasn't sure if I did that or not. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Detecting above normal radiation levels. What? If you jump in the, you can't jump in the water. You jump in the water, it just takes you, uh, takes you back where you jumped from. Kind of funny. Water, so dangerous. Oh, what was that? The game telling me not to jump in water, that's what. The golden waste discovered. It's very golden here. Game is like, let's pretend you didn't do that. Pretty much. The most dangerous thing in the year 2800. It's not aliens, it's water. Don't go in the water, kids. Alright. I still don't know what's good to scan and what's not, so... Scan it. Alright, but we probably need to hurry, because... Um... Our hazard level. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Wait, is this the area? Oh, I didn't know this was the area here. So, remember that guy on the Nexus that was like, uh, in jail because he was like, I shot my friend or whatever. We gotta find that guy's body. And then that'll tell us a little bit more about stuff. That's it. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging. No! DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Yeah. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkins. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. I didn't really hear what it was happening because there was stupid enemies that decided to come out. But I think they said that they uh, he's all scattered around because of those bug things. A single piece of Nexus issued body armor has been buried here over time by sandstorms. Let's keep looking. I guess we'll swap to that uh, mission. Additional task. Naming the dead. Uh, wait, that's not actually it. It's this one right here. Our things are getting low. Maybe we need to run back. Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. The search continues. Yeah, let's go run back so we can get our life support level back up high enough. Because if we're going to be out here in the desert, I need to make sure that that's up because I don't want to die.
Look out for anything big and hungry. Resilience is more than a name. It's our duty now. Think they'll ever try moving back in here? I gotta go. Life support levels critical. Please seek safety. Brian, man. Watch me die. Hazard environments deplete your life support. Once empty, you will lose health and shields. Yep. Life support is stable. Alright, we're stable for now. Let's go back. Thought that was a massive harpy or something. Let's see. Someone else is poking his tech. Data mining. Recently constructed monitoring s device that is controlled remotely and produces an active signal. I'm in. It. I'm in the signal. Scan me. See what's over here. I probably should have brought the Nomad for this, but it's fine. Let's just, just keep going that way. This is truly a desert right here. Armor's chest uh, plate. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni Tool might shed some light. We gotta find the Omni Tool. Omni Tool's further this way. Got hurry. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by remnant. There may be something of use. Remnants. There's, no, there's another one of those computers over there. That way, is that gonna get me out of the thing or no? Well, it's just right there. I guess we'll check it. Our life support's low. I hope the cave um, fixes that, but it probably won't. Keep sliding further and further back. 
God dang this freaking chair. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. I don't really have to waste ammo on this, but yeah. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm totally gonna die. Life support is failing. Oh my god. Well, this is stupid. I'm way too far to get to a uh, a thing. So we're probably going to end up dying here, and if that's the case, then that's it. That's the end of the stream, man. I can't. I probably shouldn't have come here first of all without um the Nomad. So. Rack up another death. Oh well, we get to see what life support looks like. There we go. Alright. Oh, I can't. That, that whole FPS bit pretty much put me in a bad mood. Oh! Well, it still doesn't help me. We're still in a bad position. Alright, let's see. Um, that's where the Nomad is. Yeah, materials. I don't know if this means that, like, over here, if th this is a forward station drop, so if we do that, then um, we can do some stuff. But I don't know if this structure thing, if this means, um, like, where I can recover my life support stuff or whatever, because I don't know. I'm just gonna keep dying. The heck? Poison. Look, I'm not gonna count this as death, all right? I should—I probably shouldn't have counted the last one, but yeah. Cause I'm not even gonna be able to make it anywhere. Whatever. This is like Fallout One all over again, being stuck in the glow with deadly radiation. God, the glow. I'm not counting this as a death, cause there's—we gotta like get out of here or something. I might I might have to reload something before we reached over here, but I don't know. I probably can't make it back just by running like this. It's too low. Try it again, see if we can Okay, so that's when it hits you. Yeah. I, I probably should not be running out here in the desert, so... You need to have the Nomad for this. I, I'm As you can tell, I'm thinking of like Witcher 3 where I can just go wherever I want. I can't do that. There's things on the planet that don't allow me to do that, so just stop trying to be that guy that tries to do everything. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Okay. This might be a little bit better. I could maybe get to my nomad quicker actually. Let's see if we can try and do that. We still have got a decent amount of life support. Let's see if we can make it back. If that's the case, then we can just get in the Nomad and then 
um, go back to that area that it's safe, and then we'll just save it and stop it there. Odd death animation for radiation poisoning. <laughs> He's just like, ugh. It was limp. I'm not real romantic about road hazards. Interesting rocks are just as bad for the nomad. Water and weather. Nothing tougher in the long Research run. notes. Anna Carol. I don't know what that that is. That is or what that's from. Well, see you later. God. Running on foot is insane. Just give it to my nomad, please. All right, we might make it. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. <sighs> We did it. The world is so much bigger than the map. Yeah. It makes it look like the distance from here to here was short. It was long. We almost we almost died just getting here. So. Where did I park the nomad? Over here. Let's go ahead and take that. But yeah, I mean, now we know what happens. Dead. And know that we shouldn't be doing that stuff, so. Boffa says, I wonder how many planets there are. There's probably a good amount. I don't know if it'll be more than what was in Mass Effect 1, but if all planets are like this, they're, they're different, there's tons of things to do on it, then yeah, man. There, There's probably like... A good amount and with a lot of uh, content on it rather than just how it was in Mass Effect 1 where there was like five or six different things you just go around the whole planet looks the same and then um, you just go to those spots and then just leave this one it's way different there's no mass relay so probably not that many I don't know I don't know Exploratory planets, I mean. Yeah. Planets you can actually land on. So, I don't know. <clears throat> Interesting session today. Um, yeah, I think this is where we're going to end it for today, though. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around through the whole battle here at this uh, particular area uh, with all the FPS stuff. Sorry I put you guys through all that. Sorry for being bad at this game, um, but I still need time to to figure stuff out. And yeah, I don't know, the FPS is still weird in some spots. I don't know. I don't know. But I had fun. We did um, some stuff on our ship. Uh, I tried to pick up a pet on the Nexus, but apparently I can't do it at this time. And then we came down here and explored... I feel like it was a lot of stuff, but really, we haven't done a lot at all. It's just been this area, and that's pretty much it. Just this area right here. <laughs> and there's all of this, and who knows what else is around here, so... We'll do more Mass Effect Andromeda tomorrow. Guys, this is where our adventure ends for today. Thanks for watching.